Well, hi, everybody, and welcome back. We've got the second game here of this double header between the Red Sox and the White Sox. Um, I think I mentioned this two days ago. I forget, but uh, the uh, lineups for both teams have been changed here a little bit by me. It's a little bit more in line with reality. So those of you who were screaming at me for leading, te leading off with Ted Williams can go to rest now. You'll also notice, you might notice that the screen's a little bit bigger. I'm messing around a little bit with settings, trying to make this a little bit easier for you to see. So let me know what you think down below. It's going to be Billy Pierce here for Chicago up against Dom DiMaggio leading off. DiMaggio is hitting 369, but not anymore. Ground ball to Luke Appling and he throws to first. There is one away and we haven't even sat down yet. Here's Johnny Pesky. That's a liner to short. Appling cannot grab that on the line, but um, he ends up with the assist as he throws to first. There's two away. Up now is Ted Williams hitting 399. Billy Pierce, by the way, with a 4.14 ERA, 2 and 3 is his record. Not exactly uh, the uh, ace of the White Sox, but uh, so it is. And uh, Williams takes the ball. And another one inside is 2 and 0 on the Splendid Splinter. Just outside, 3 and 0 now. And he takes ball four. And so Williams goes to first. That's walk number 56 that he's taken this season. Sounds like a leadoff hitter to me. Here's Vern Stevens. And Stevens takes a strike. It's 0-1. And, and that's just fouled away. 0-2 the count. Fastball at the knees, but uh, the thumb didn't go up. 1-2 on Vern. There's a breaking ball for ball 2. 2-2, two two, another questionable call. And that's low and away, and it's there for strike 3. So down goes Stevens. We go now to the bottom of the first inning. There's, of course, no score. First game of this doubleheader, the uh, White Sox came close, but were not able to come away with it. We'll see how they do here in the second. It'll be Earl Johnson on the mound for the Red Sox. He throws the ball right away to Herb Adams. Johnson, 16 and a third pitched, 8.27 ERA with a 1 and 2 record. Um, and I'm pushing the wrong buttons here. There's a uh, strike to Adams, 1 and 1 the count. Johnson's walked 6, uh, struck out, or walked 8, struck out 6. Adams hits a fly ball to the left, and uh, Ted Williams has that one away. Here now Dave Philly, who takes the ball, 1-0. That's off the plate. It's 2-0 now in Philly. And there's ball three away inside, 3-0. And, oh, and that's high, and so Johnson's given up the walk. That'll bring up Luke Appling. Philly has uh, kind of the ability to steal. We'll take a quick look here and see. My apologies. I know that this is still pretty small, especially if you're on mobile. He has two stolen bases this year against no times caught. 13 versus 5 caught in real life, so uh, we might want to steal with him, I think. And uh, there is a strike on Appling. It's 0-1. We'll have him hit and run. And that's fouled away 0-2. So much for stealing the base. That pitch does miss. 1-2 the count on Luke. Throw to first, and Philly's back. And there's strike 3 called away. What a pitch to take. So 2 away, and here comes Metkovich. George Metkovich hitting 313, but he's only got 16 at-bats. He takes the ball. And another ball, 2-0 oh, the count. Mekovich not very good against lefties. The truth is that these White Sox, at least in the middle of the season, didn't do a whole lot of platooning left and right. I know because I checked. 2-0 oh, the count, and that's a strike in the outside corner. It's 2-1. And, one. Um, and uh, that's a uh, wild pitch. Tebitz does not do a good job of getting in front of that. Philly moves to second, and so Mekovich now with the runner in scoring position, and he's got a 3-1 count on him. I think he'll take this one, and there's strike two. It's a full count now on George. And there's ball four missing low and off the plate. So Johnson has walked two, struck out one, and here comes Cass Michaels with two outs, bottom of the first. No score, just getting started as Michaels fouls one away and takes a ball low. One and, oh, one, and one the count, my apologies. And that's in the dirt again, two and one, and Johnson's having some trouble. High and inside for ball three. You got to wonder maybe if his spikes are catching somewhere on the mound or what's going on. He's been up and down, up and down. Michaels will take this one, and that's off the play for ball four. So Johnson has walked three this inning. Up now is Chuck Kress for the White Sox. Kress is hitting 267 out of 15 times at bat. Another man who doesn't like facing lefties. So we have the wrong lineup up there, I guess. There's a ball high to Chuck, 1-0. Oh. Dribbled foul, third baseline, it's 1-1. One hit to center, and DiMaggio's there for the out. And so that'll do it. Uh, we go to the top of the second inning after uh, that uh, adventure. Still no score, and uh, up comes uh, Bobby Doerr. Doerr hitting 240, and he fouls one away. As it says here, he was only 190 against left-handed pitchers. That's hit deep to left, and go king, hooking foul. It's 0-2 on Bobby. And that is just off the outside corner. 1-2 the count. Uh, breaking ball misses, 2-2. Two Hit hard down the third base line, but foul. Remains 2-2. Two and two. 
Changeup is down and in, full count on Bobby, and that is low, so he walks, and Boston has a man on here in the top of the second. Up now comes Al Zarilla. Zarilla hitting 280. 281 in real life, that's realism for you. One home run, so a little bit of power. There's a ball high to Al, and that's fouled away. It's 1-1. One one. Zarilla coming over, I think, from Chicago. You'll have to remind me if it was Chicago or St. Louis, one of the two. That's ball two, two and two, and now a full count on Zarilla. Nobody out. Curveball is low, so Pierce has walked now three, and both pitchers having a hard time with their control. That brings up Billy Goodman. Goodman's hitting 379, and there's a ball high, and he's had 95 times up, so uh, he's it's legit. That's a bunted on foul. One and one the count on Billy. Swing and a miss on that low fastball. It's one and two. That's just outside. Two and two the count on Goodman. It's hit hard, deep to right. Philly's got that for the out. Not quite deep enough, though. Bobby stays the second. So there's one away. Bertie Tebbett's now the batter. He's hitting 245 as he fouls one away, 0 and 1. Next pitch is popped up left side, and that's out of play, 0 and 2 now on Birdie. And that's inside, um, and it's a ball, 1 and 2. Inside again, 2 and 2 now the count. Fouled away, remains 2 and 2. Hit back to Pierce, and that's off of his glove. That'll be an error on Pierce, and uh, that should have been a double play, and instead it results in the bases loaded. Neither team with a hit yet. Up comes Earl Johnson with one out. In comes the infield, and there's a strike to Johnson, 0 and 1. There's another strike outside corner. I'm not sure why he's not bunting, 0 and 2 the count. There's a ball inside, 1 and 2. Foul the wave remains 1 and 2. Swing and a miss, and down he goes. And so Pierce now with two strikeouts to complement the three walks. Two away, but here comes Dom DiMaggio. And there's a swing and a miss of the high fastball, 0 and 1. Swing and another miss, 0 and 2 on Dom. There's a the ball to him, 1 and 2. Fouled straight back, 1 and 2 remains. Ground ball appling over to Michaels, and that does it. And so an unusual turn of events here. We go to the uh, bottom of the second inning. It's a seven, or it's a, uh, n there's no score, and uh, we're seven minutes into the video is what I'm thinking, and uh, there are no hits in this ball game, and both teams have had the bases loaded. Floyd Baker leads this off for the White Sox. He takes a strike from Earl Johnson. There's a ball off the play, one and one. Ground ball through the infield, and that'll be a base hit. So Baker fi figures out a way to get aboard, and that'll bring up Don Wheeler. Wheeler is hitting 283. I was hitting him leadoff before. We're not going to bunt with him because I'm the manager. There's a ball off the play, 1 0. Swing and a miss of one down and in. It's 1 1 on Don. High and outside, 2 and, uh, two and 1, sorry. And that's a base hit in the left. Told you he's a good hitter. Williams has it. Baker holds it second, and that'll bring up Billy Pierce. And now you know that he's going to bunt. Infield in on the corners. And there's a bunt in the air. Johnson running off the mound, grabs that in time, and uh, makes the catch. So a real heads-up play there by Earl Johnson, and that'll bring up Herb Adams. A horrible bunt there by Pierce. Adams is 309. He's uh, got 10 RBIs. 309 is what he's hitting, that is. 110 at-bats. He's about half the way to his real-life total, and he takes a ball high. Big pop-up, and that's uh, on top of the dugout, out of play. One and one. Left side, I should say. And there's a ball. Two and one, the count on Adams. That one misses low. It's three and one. He'll take this one. And there's strike two. It's a full count now on Herb. Swing and a miss, and down he goes. And that's the second strikeout there for Earl Johnson. So he, too, has uh, walked three, struck out two. Dave Philly now the next batter. And he takes a ball inside, one and oh. He walked last time up. And there's another one high, two and oh. Ball three is close. Three and oh the count. And he takes this one way too high. And it's ball four. And that brings up Luke Appling. So Philly has walked now twice. Here comes Appling. Two hits for the White Sox here, both in the inning, and they're the only two hits of the game. Appling uh, 0 for 1, uh, and he uh, takes a ball, checked his swing. Fouls one away now, 1 and 1. That's outside, 2 and 1 the count on Luke. Two hopper hit to Stevens, and he drops it. Oh, man, Vern Stevens, uh, despite all of the offensive exploits, can't come up with that ground ball, and that's an air on Stevens that allows the first run to score, and it's a 1-0 lead here for the White Sox. So the White Sox managed to get one across. The bases are still loaded, still with two outs in the bottom of the first. This will bring up George Metkovich, who walked his last time up. Metkovich with a 522 on base percentage. Of course, there's only 16 at-bats. He's walked seven times, so I guess about 23 plate appearances. He takes a strike and swings and misses a one down and away. It's 0-2 on George. Hit deep to right, and Zarilla going back on that one. Back, but it's a, it's a uh, airport here in Chicago. 
He makes the catch for the out, does Zarilla. And uh, with that, we go to the top of the third inning. It's a 1-0 lead for the White Sox. Here comes Johnny Pesky. Pesky's 0 for 1, and he takes a ball off the plate. Slider, 1-0. There's a fastball. 1-1 one one the count on Johnny. There's a strike on the inner half. It's 1-2. and two. Lined up the middle. Pierce got a uh, glove on that over to Appling, and he fields it cleanly, throws the first for the out, one away. Here comes Mr. Danger. Williams hitting 399, takes a strike. Can he hit 400 again? The ball off the play, one and one. Another one inside, two and one on Ted, and that's low. It's three and one. And that's wide of the plate, so Williams takes the walk. Fourth walk given up by Billy Pierce. Here comes Vern Stevens with the runner on at first base. So up comes Stevens. One on, only one out, and uh, Stevens hitting 312, 47 men driven in, and he fouls one away. He drove in 159 in real life. Ground ball to Appling, to Michaels, and on to Cress. And so uh, forget about all those men driven in. Stevens does not get it done. We go now to the bottom of the third inning. It's a one nothing lead for the White Sox. Here comes Cass Michaels, our good old friend Cass. There was a ball off the outside corner, 1-0 and on Michaels, and that's high, 2-0. Cass Michaels, very forgotten player. 3-0 and now the count on him. Had a good season, 48-49, and 49, okay in 50, but uh, didn't last long. And uh, he shows bunt and takes ball, or strike one, which he was hoping would be ball four. It's 3-1 and one now on Cass. There's strike two on the inside corner, so it's a full count now on him. And that misses, so he does take ball four. Michaels didn't swing the bat once in that at-bat, and he's walked twice now. Up comes uh, Chuck Cress. Runner on a first base, a one nothing lead. We'll see what Crest does here. And uh, there's a bunt, first base side. Goodman fields it, flips over to Doerr behind him, and Michaels goes over to second. So the White Sox playing for one run. Here comes Floyd Baker now. Baker's hitting 250. He's driven in 21. He's got another opportunity here. There's a ball low and outside, 1 0. And there's ball 2, 2 0. Last thing you want to do if you're Johnson is walk him as he throws ball 3. 3 0 the count. And that misses way inside, and that brings up uh, Don Wheeler, and that brings out a call to the bullpen. It'll be Joe Dobson coming into this game for the Red Sox. So Joe Dobson comes in. Earl Johnson doesn't even get through three. He's responsible for both runners. He only gives up two hits, but he's walked the whole park. Here comes Don Wheeler, who's one for one and is a danger man. Dobson, 3.38 ERA, 5-3 record, and there's a fly deep to left. Williams has that for the out. Michaels tags and moves easily to third. So two away. Here comes Billy Pierce. The damage mostly gone, or the uh, danger, I should say. There's a strike to Pierce, 0-1, and a swing and a miss, 0-2. Inside, 1-2 the count now on Billy. That's outside, it's 2-2. Two two. High, and it's a full count now on Pierce. Hit by the mound, Stevens, good play this time, throws the first for the out, and there you have it. We'll go now to the uh, top of the fourth inning. It's still a one nothing lead for the White Sox. Up comes Bobby Doerr. That's high around the shoulders, 1-0 and on Bobby. Driven to right, and that'll be a base hit. The Red Sox finally with their first hit of the game. Top of the fourth inning, it finally comes around, and that'll bring up Alzarilla. Watch out, Chicago, because these guys can hit. Ground ball, Appling, Michaels to Crest. Double play. Second one that the White Sox have uh, pulled off this game, I believe. Up comes Billy Goodman, who takes a strike, and it's a ground ball wide of first. Base hit. Second hit of the inning for the Red Sox, and that'll bring a Bertie Tebbets. So the Red Sox will uh, make a mistake on offense and then come right back at you. Tebbets takes a ball and then a strike. One and one. That's a swing and a miss and fouled away. One and two on Bertie. That slider's low. Two and two. And that one almost got away from Wheeler. Goodman didn't see it, so it's a full count now on Tebbets. That's fouled away. Full count remains on Birdie. Popped up, foul, out of play. Chopper to third. Baker, now they're going to save that hit off of Tebbets' foot. I'm not sure how accurate that was. Full count remains. There's a swing and a miss, and down goes Tebbets, and you can forget about it. So the uh, Red Sox, with two hits that inning, they get nothing. We go now to the bottom of the fourth inning. It's a 1-0 lead for the White Sox, and up comes Herb Adams. And there's a pop-up for a spitch swing. Tebbets has that um, on the fly for the out, one away. Up now, Dave Philly. There's a strike to Philly, 0-1. Ground ball left side, Pesky, great play, throws to first, not in time. Philly able to beat that out. Philly using his speed to his advantage. And there's a runner on at first base now for the White Sox, and we've seen this show before. 
They're calling that a base hit. Here goes Philly for second, and uh, he's thrown out. Good throw by Tebbit, so no chance. Two away, and here's Luke Appling again. One and no the count. That's fouled away. It's one and one. Ground ball is to the left of Pesky, and actually it'll be Stevens making that play, and he throws on to first for the out. We go now to the top of the fifth inning. It's a 1-0 lead for the White Sox. Good game, close game. Here's Joe Dobson. Close game like the first game was. 1-0 the count to Joe, and that's foul tipped. It's 1-1. One one. So Dobson stays in this game, takes a strike. It's 1-2. And, two. and uh, swings and misses that one down in the dirt. One away. Up comes Dom DiMaggio. DiMaggio today 0-2. for 4, 0 for 2, I'm sorry. Fouls one away. 0-1. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Uh, and he went around that time. That's the fifth strikeout for Billy Pierce. So Pierce has been doing that old alibi Ike. You know, you tell the outfield to come in. You don't need him. Pierce has walked four, struck out five, trying to do it all um, as a one-man show. Up is Pesky. He takes a change up for a strike outside corner. There's a ball low off the play. One and one. Ball two to Johnny. Two and one. That's on the corner for strike two. Two and two now the count. Inside. Full count now on Pesky. Has popped up and out of play. Full count remains. And that one uh, was about a 56-foot fastball, and that bounced in there. So Pesky takes it for ball four. And now up comes Ted Williams, and your one nothing lead might disappear in a hurry. Ted is uh, hasn't had an at-bat. He's walked twice and takes a strike. The ball outside, 1-1 one -on, -one on Williams. There's a slider low. It's 2-1. and one. Off the plate, 3-1 and one now the count. And he takes ball four. So Williams has walked three times. I don't know if you can hear my dog growling. He must be upset with uh, Pierce's uh, pitch selection. That'll bring up now Vern Stevens. You want to know how he got 159 RBIs in situations like this. Stevens hitting behind Williams makes a formidable duo. Vern takes a strike. There's a ball high and tight. One and one. Two and one is that backdoor slider missed. And there's ball three. Three and one. Round ball, third base. Baker has it. Goes to the bag himself. The White Sox get out of the jam. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. one nothing Chicago. Up is George Mekovich. 0 for 1. Mekovich hits that down the first base line past Goodman. That's a base hit, and it'll be a single for Mekovich. Up now is Cass Michaels with the runner on at first. He squares and misses that one. 0 and 1 on Cass. That's high. 1 and 1 the count. Two and one, as that was a little bit high. Another throw to first. Next pitch in there, and that's bunted foul. Two and two now the count. Ground ball off the mound. Base hit into center field. DiMaggio has that excellent arm. Mekovic will stop at second, and that'll bring up Chuck Kress. So runners on at first and second now for the White Sox. Here comes Kress, and he's a good bunter, and they're playing the um, corners in. Dropped foul third base side, but that does just roll foul. 0 and 1. Bunted this time back to Dobson. He throws over to Bobby DeWer covering a first. The two runners move up. So there's one away. Floyd Baker comes up with two in scoring position. He'll be followed by Wheeler. So you got to pitch to Baker here, you figure. Baker is driven in 21. There's a strike down the middle. They will pitch to him. There's a ball low and away. 1 and 1 the count. Foul at the plate. It's 1 and 2. Grounder towards the bag at second. That gets through. One scores. Here comes Michaels. DiMaggio has a great arm. Baker holds it first. Throw in there, and, My and DiMaggio throws him out. Tebbets with the tag. There was the call. The White Sox get one out of that, but the uh, second man thrown out of the plate, and I told you DiMaggio had a good arm. So it's 2 nothing now, White Sox. Baker with the key hit. Uh, but DiMaggio uh, getting a lot of the um, uh, smattering of applause here in Chicago for that excellent throw. That brings up now Don Wheeler, who's one for two, hitting 286. And we're going to have to hit him higher if he keeps hitting like this. There's a strike to Wheeler. Throw to first. Baker just back in time. That was close. That's high and tight. One and one now the count. Foul the way. It's one and two on Don. Another throw to first. He's safe. There's strike three called on the outer edge. What a pitch to take, Don. We go now to the uh, top of the sixth inning. It's 2 0 now. White Sox, they have some breathing room. Here is Bobby Durer. There's a ball way inside, 1 0. Pierce having a hard time, and there's a strike, 1 1. Uh, 2 and 1 as he held up his swing, and there's a swing and a miss. It's 2 and 2. That's high. It's a full count now on Bobby. Hit past the diving Baker, a third, four, base hit, single into left as Metkovich goes over there to get it. 
That now brings up Al Zarilla, a runner on at first base. Swing and a miss, 0 oh 1. Good curveball by Pierce. And there's the ball low, 1 and 1. Popped up right side. Cress can't get there. 1 and 2 the count. Swing and a miss, and down he goes. Pierce has struck out six and walked six. Here comes Billy Goodman with that runner on at first. Goodman hitting 381. Hits a uh, foul ball to the right side. It'll be Michaels um, who ends up uh, directing traffic. He calls his own number, makes the catch for the out. Two away. That'll bring up Birdie Tevitz. Here's a foul to the left side. 0-1 oh, on Birdie. There's a ball high. 1-1. One and one. Fastball very high. 2-1 and one now the count. And that's high and inside. 3-1. and one. Ground ball to short. Appling to Michaels. And we've seen that a lot today. We go now to the bottom of the sixth inning. It is still a 2-0 lead for the White Sox. This will bring up the pitcher, Billy Pierce. We'll keep him in. And I'm kind of crossing my fingers and toes when I say that. He takes the ball and then swings and misses at a fastball. 1-1. One and one. Strike down in the zone. 1-2. and two. It's foul straight back. Remains 1-2. and two. Low and outside, 2-2 two and two on Billy. Here's a swing and a miss, and down he goes. One away, bottom of the six. Herb Adams now up there. He's over 3. Takes the strike. Adams hasn't seen a lot of pitches. He keeps swinging the first pitch, but that time he took one. There's a fly ball, second pitch to Ted Williams and left, and there's two away. Up now, Dave Philly. That's a foul ball off his bat. 0-1 oh, on Philly. Low and inside is 1-1 one one now on Dave. There's a change of first strike. 1-2. That's low, 2-2. Two and two. That misses again, low. Full count now on Philly. Swing and a miss. Down he goes. We'll go now to the top of the seventh inning. The uh, White Sox holding on to a 2-0 lead um, on the uh, rubber arm here of Billy Pierce. Up comes Matt Batts as a pinch hitter. Another channel legend, and he takes a ball low, hitting 184. Pulls that one to third. Baker throws to first. There's one away. Here's Dom DiMaggio. He takes this, he swings and misses, excuse me, on the first pitch, 0-1. That's fouled away, it's 0-2. 363 is what Dom's hitting, but 0-4 today. There's a ball high. And that's called strike three. Pierce has struck out seven, and that'll bring up Pesky. Pesky's 0-2, and he takes the ball low. Another one low, 2-0 and on Johnny. And there's a strike in there, 2-1. and one. Swing and a miss, it's 2-2. Two and two. That's just high full count. And there's ball four called. So Pesky walks uh, for the second time today. That'll bring up captain walk, Ted Williams, who's walked 58 times today or this year, including three times today. He takes two straight balls, 2-0, and oh, and that's way outside, 3-0. and oh. And uh, we're going to throw a ball four here. Now there's a strike, 3-1 and one the count, and that's well inside. So uh, Pesky, Pierce has walked two this inning. And up comes Vern Stevens again in another one of those big positions. He's had men on base every time up today, and he's 0 for 3. Stevens takes a ball low, 1 and 0. Chopper, Cress, does that himself to the bag at first, and will go to the bottom of the seventh inning. It is a 2 nothing lead for the White Sox. Up comes Luke Appling. New pitcher for the Red Sox is Ted, Ted, uh, Tex Hewson. I'm sorry. Hewson uh, has a 4.79 ERA, 20 and two-thirds pitch. 1-0 and is his record as he throws a ball here to Luke Appling. Uh, three games saved, and that's bounced in there, 2-0. and Three games saved in the 20 and two-thirds pitch. He had three saved all season in real life. That lets you know what the uh, Diamond Mind Baseball Computer Manager thinks of uh, saves and relievers. There's ball three to Luke Appling, and Hewson has to be careful. And there is ball four, and he wasn't careful. So Appling gets the walk, but he has no speed. Up now is Metkovich, who can't bunt, so we'll swing away. I mentioned that as uh, Metkovich takes a strike because uh, this is a hitter, uh, yeah, pitcher's park. It's fouled away 0-2. Oh, Definitely a pitcher's park, Comiskey Park in 49. Sinker off the play 1-2 and two on George. And that's wide 2-2. Two and two. Foul to the right side, but that's in among the fans. That's fouled back. It's still 2-2 two and two on George. Ball, fouled that one back again. Ground ball to where to Stevens over to Goodman. There's your double play. Two away, and here comes Cass Michaels. He's one for one. Has walked twice. He takes a strike. 0-1. Oh, Ground ball right side to where, and Bobby throws to first. We'll go now to the top of the eighth inning. And it's a 2-2, uh, two, two, uh, it's a 2-0 uh, lead here for the White Sox. And it'll be Bobby DeWer who uh, helped get that double play leading this off. He takes a ball high. 
and hits that one foul to the right side, one and one. Fouled again, one and two. Fastball's high, two and two on Bobby. Swing and a miss on that outside pitch. Pierce has now struck out eight, and this crowd is warming up to him. Al Zarilla now. Inside, one and oh on Al. Round ball left side. Baker on to first. Got him. I'm sorry, Pierce on to first. It says Baker coming in, but Pierce got there first and threw to first. Uh, two away. Here comes Goodman. That's what happens when I avert my eyes, look away quickly, and you miss that part. 2-0 and oh the count on Billy Goodman. Swing and a miss. It's 2-1. Two 2-2. And one. Two and two. Ground ball to second. Uh, sorry, shortstop. Appling goes in front of Michaels. Makes the play over to first base for the out. That brings us now to the bottom of the um, uh, eighth inning. And uh, it's a 2 nothing lead here for the White Sox. Up is Chuck Kress. Fouls the first pitch away 0-1. Takes a strike of the knees. Good sinker 0-2. And it's inside and low. 1-2 and two the count. 2-2 two and two is that missed. That hangs high. Full count now on Kress. Take this one, baby. And he does. And there's a slider low. That's ball four. That'll bring up Floyd Baker. Baker today is two for two, so we'll have him swing away. Kress has some speed. There is a ball, one and oh, the count. Fouled away. That was a hit and run. One and one. Hit to right, and Al Zarilla's got that for the out. One away. That'll bring up Don Wheeler. Wheeler's one for three. He's been hitting everything so far this season, and he takes a ball low, one and oh. That misses by a mile. Two and oh, the count. There is a strike to him. Two and one. There's ball three. Three and one on Don. Screwball is in there for a strike, full count. Foul the way again, full count remains. And that's low. So two men on, here comes Billy Pierce, and uh, you know they're going to applaud him. Fans stand and applaud, and he's up there sacrificing. He'll take a ball. Pierce has um, thrown one of those games that um, you, need, you need your man to throw in a situation like this. He has been absolutely brilliant so far today. And um, the uh, fans here in Chicago really appreciate that. Against the first place Red Sox, it's bunted off to the right. It's one and one. And that's bunted right in front of the place. Tebbets gets there in time, throws to first, but the runners move up. That's what that was designed to do. So two in scoring position now for Herb Adams. I feel like we've had this before. There's a strike in the outside corner. Has popped up center field. Actually, the shortstop Stevens will grab that for the out. And... Um, we're going to go now to the top of the ninth inning. It's a 2 nothing lead for the White Sox. Here now is Bertie Tebbets. There's a strike high to him, 0-1. Another strike, it's 0-2. Chopped off his foot, remains 0-2. Curve is high. And there's another one low, 2-2, two and, two, and that's just high. It's a full count now on Bertie. Foul tip, Wheeler couldn't hold on. Fouled away again. Fouled away again. Ground ball second. Michaels to first. One gone. Here comes Houston. He's going to be taken out for a pinch hitter. Sam Mealy comes up. This is only his second plate appearance, I think, all uh, season. He swings and misses a one low and takes a ball. One and one. Swing and a miss. It's one and two on Sam. Just missed that time. Two and two. Swing and a miss and down he goes. Strike on number nine for Billy. And those fans on their feet cheering as Billy Pierce looks like he's about to uh, join um, the Hall of Fame for the week. Here comes Dom DiMaggio. There's a fastball inside corner for a strike. I think the umpire gave him that call. Oh, and one the count on Dom. There's a breaking ball low. It's one and one. Outside, two and one the count. Ground ball right side. Michaels on to first, and that does it. So Billy Pierce comes up with a three-hitter, stymies the uh, Red Sox. Uh, the Red Sox uh, looked awful in this game and gets the victory. 2-0 the win here for the White Sox, and uh, the White Sox might be stuck in the second division, but this was a key victory for them. And the plot thickens in the 1949 American League. Stay tuned here, and we'll see what happens to the Yankees and the Indians and the Athletics because we have all those teams coming up soon. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'll talk with you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.